Welcome to the Santa Rosa Niscandia County Virtual College Fair. My name is Jasmine. I'm going to serve as your facilitator for our session today. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements. Number one, your camera and microphone are off, so we cannot see or hear you. Second, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any point throughout our session today. Third, this is just one of various sessions that we're offering, so feel free to visit the registration site to sign up for additional sessions. And finally, this presentation is being recorded. You'll have access to that recording. With that said, I want to go ahead and turn it over to our first presenter from Mercer University. Awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan. I am an admissions rep here at Mercer. I'm getting ready to share my screen with you all here. Okay, perfect. So um, I want to introduce you. Uh, Mercer University is located in Macon, Georgia. So um, great city with great food and activities, lots of things for you to do there. Um, some awesome restaurants. We host a Cherry Blossom Festival every March. So lots of awesome opportunities for you, for you to get involved during your time at Mercer. You are required to live on campus for three years. So it's a great that we have such a nice downtown and good community for you to get involved with. But I want to tell you a little bit more about the school itself. So life on campus, we do have have over 160 student organizations for you to get involved with. This includes fraternity and sorority life, uh, foreign language clubs, religious clubs, just about anything you can think of. If you don't see it on campus, all you need is another student and professor, and you could bring that to campus. We also have 18 Division I men's and women's athletic teams, so that could be an option for you as well, as well as a robust intramural program for you to get involved in if you decide to do sports during your time at Mercer. Now, academics and research. Mercer is going to offer you 65 plus majors to choose from, and this includes 17 pre-professional tracks, including but not limited to pre-med and pre-law. So lots of options for you. We just started a new kinesiology major this year. We're really excited about, but lots of options for you to choose from. One thing that I always like to point out about Mercer is you do have a small undergrad experience with only about 3,400 students on campus, but there's about 9,000 students overall. So you're going to have the benefits of the undergrad experience while also of a small undergrad experience while also having the benefits of the graduate and doctoral students being around. And when it comes to the research, we try to get students started in research as early as their freshman year on campus. We wanna make sure that you are getting hands-on and really learning as best as you can to get that experience. We have a 14 to one student to faculty ratio and the average class size of around 23 students. So you're not gonna get lost on our campus. You're gonna, professors will know your name. They're gonna be able to assist you with any goals that you have. And we're gonna help you through with that process. Also, when it comes to research, we have an event every year called Bear Day. This is for students in any major who have completed a research. They're going to be presenting to the other students and staff on campus, presenting that research and sharing their findings of the proud work that they have managed to put together over the past year. In addition to the academic side of things, service is huge for us. So if research is one pillar of the institution, service is the other pillar of the institution. So there's a few different ways to do this. First is with an organization called Merck Serve. They help organize events on campus. So this might be helping build houses with Happy Hat for Humanity, helping out at the um, local food bank, perhaps you're tutoring students. So whatever your skills may need, that can help you out there as well. But in addition to this, we also have uh, service Saturdays on campus that are, again, local service. But one of the biggest things we like to highlight is our Mercer on Mission. So Mercer on Mission is an awesome opportunity where you get to go abroad. I, most of the time, it's during the summer for a few weeks, get class credit for it, but you're also serving a purpose. So I always like to point out, um, you can see on the right corner there, or on the right side there is a student with a prosthetic, or a young man with a prosthetic. Uh, we go every year to Vietnam to help fit patients who have stepped on landmines or had other issues in Vietnam left over from the war. We fit them with prosthetics, and it's something we're really proud of. It's a, one of our professors at the university has a patent of prosthetic, but our biomedical engineering students get to go over and have that real life experience and get that hands-on experience there. So it's a unique opportunity. There's several other opportunities you can do as well. We also do have traditional study abroad experiences. Obviously, these are still growing within the uh, 
COVID times, but we're working on getting those back on track. So traditional study abroad experiences could be available to you as well as a student. Now, you have your degree at Mercer, what's next? We wanna make sure that we're getting you out there. So on top of internships that we're gonna really encourage you to get with our Center for Career and Professional Development, they're gonna help you out with your resume from day one. They wanna see you that first year on campus. They wanna help you develop that resume, those interview skills. What's a cover letter? They're gonna help you figure that out and how to fit that for your job. They're gonna assist you with all that along the way. We're also gonna host career fairs and internship fairs, as well as help you with grad school if that's your goal. 96% of our 2020 graduating class had either a job or was placed in grad school within six months of graduation. And that was in the middle of a pandemic. That is something that we are really proud of, that our students are going places with their degrees. Also, the Center for Career and Professional Development assists with alumni services. So as long as you graduate from Mercer University, you're gonna have that Center for Career and Professional Development for life. So if you're five, 10 years down the road and it's time for a new job, they can look over your resume and help you revamp that and get ready for your next job in your job search. So if that all sounds good to you, real quick, I just want to talk about our deadline. So the application is open. We're on Mercer's website and also the Common App. So those are both available to you. Um, and we also have, again, the FAFSA opens October 1st. That's important for everyone, no matter what you're looking at. And then in addition, the early action deadline for us is November 1st. Please, please, please get all of your materials in before that deadline. That is really important. That's going to help qualify you for the most amount of opportunities and scholarships possible. I am going to put in the chat here uh, in a moment, I'm going to drop the link to come visit our campus. It's a beautiful campus. I recommend you come visit. We have daily tours as well as specialized visits, some Saturday visits if you can't come during the week, but lots of opportunities to check out campus. So I hope you all appreciate that info about Mercer. If you have any questions, put them in the Q&A. Uh, again, my name is Jordan and I will be happy to help you with that. Thank you so much, Jordan. Up next, we have the New York Film Academy. Hey everyone, thanks for uh, being with us. My name is Gil Matos. I am the um, admissions director here at New York Film Academy South Beach. I'm gonna share my screen here with you guys. All right. So obviously as the name indicates, New York Film Academy, we are located, our very first school was in New York City. If you're familiar with the city at all, we're located right across from the Statue of Liberty in the Battery Park section of Manhattan. Also located in Los Angeles, this is our largest campus. Uh, we are located there in between Universal and Warner Brothers Studios. So very centrally located in the Burbank section of LA. The campus I'm located at, South Beach and Miami Beach. If you're located with or familiar with Miami Beach, uh, we're right on Lincoln Road, two blocks from the beach. Also very, very easy to get film permits to shoot in Miami as well. So very cool location to, uh, to be studying these majors in. Uh, if you want to go to Europe, our European campus, we are located in Florence, Italy. And if you really want to go far away, uh, Gold Coast, Australia, we have a campus there next to the Village Roadhouse Studios in uh, Australia. In terms of the programs that we offer, we offer anything to do with uh, visual and performing arts, right? So uh, we are a fully accredited college, so we offer bachelor, master's, um, professional conservatory programs, as well as short-term workshop programs. Uh, acting and filmmaking, photography, game design, animation. So depending on the program that you want, they're available at different campuses. We do also offer teen camps for those of you that are uh, not graduating for another year or two. If you want to try these majors out, we do offer these in June and July uh, in a variety of these different subjects. Uh, as students at New York Film Academy, you have access to our guest speaker series, and these happen pretty much every week. Uh, every month, we have a really big name on campus. As you can see, uh, we've had in the past such luminaries as Steven Spielberg, Al Pacino, uh, J.K. Simmons, Jamie Lee Curtis. So uh, I've had a lot of different people that come to the New York Film Academy to speak to our students about their experiences and sort of help them navigate through the industry as well. One thing we're very, very proud of is our alumni and what our alumni are up to. You can check out the link here as you see by program what they're doing, but I'll name a few of them here. Bill Hader has won back-to-back -back Emmys for his role in Barry. Uh, Issa Rae has been nominated for a lot of different awards for her role in Insecure as both writer and, and uh, actor in it. Uh, Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Recreation. Paul Dano is going to be the Riddler in the new Batman movie. He's also a New York Film Academy alum and many, many, many others that we're very, very proud of. Uh, in terms of requirements, pretty standard stuff. We don't do Common App, but uh, 
we it's a pretty standard stuff here your high school diploma your transcripts is a narrative statement as well uh, the two letters of recommendation uh, obviously as American students you don't need the English exam and then we will require an audition if you're doing acting or musical theater or create a portfolio if you're doing anything else um, those are very important because that is what's going to dictate how much money you're awarded in a talent-based award. Um, this is basically like a scholarship. So again, based on an audition or a creative portfolio. Also have needs-based awards, merit-based awards, and uh, well, the Matthew Modine one's for master's, so it doesn't really qualify here or it doesn't really pertain to you guys here. But uh, we do offer assistance for uh, uh, students applying to the school. Um, anybody has questions, this is my direct email address as well. If you have WhatsApp or if you want to use text or whatever to get in contact with me, that's a work phone. I don't check that after seven or on weekends, but I'll be happy to get back to you when I do see the message. Um, but feel free to reach out to me with any additional questions you have about housing, uh, the application process or anything like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Up next, we have Northwest Florida State College. Hi, everybody. Um, let me set up my presentation real quick. All right. My name is Tony Chavez. I am the new student engagement coordinator at Northwest Florida State College. And I have a personal tie to this state college because I was a former student here. Um, all in all, I've been working at the college for five years from admissions to recruitment. But now as a coordinator of recruitment, I'm really happy to share some information about our institution. All right, so Northwest Florida State College is part of the Florida college system. So it is one of 28 uh, public state, uh, state and community college and we are SACS accredited. Um, our average class size is 17 students. So we have a very small class, uh, average class size. And um, what people don't know about Northwest Florida State College is that we actually serve about 12,000 students a year. Now we have seven locations um, that serve Okaloosa and Walton County and abroad, um, but primarily the six of those are physical locations. Our main campus is actually located in Niceville, Florida, um, dead center of Okaloosa County. And then we have a shared campus in Fort Walton Beach with um, the University of West Florida. We have our online campus because we have a strong online presence for our online learners. And we have centers, which are really small campuses, typically one to two buildings or they're specific to um, specific programs. So it, with the, within the Okaloosa um, County, we have um, Crestview um, and Hurlburt Field um, centers. And then we in Walton County, we have the Chautauqua Center in Dufiniac Springs and then the South Walton Center in Santa Rosa Beach. Now, typically, primarily any community college or state college is um, basically used for um, associate level degrees. Primarily for us, um, our students, a majority of our students are here for an AA, which is the Associate in Arts um, degree, which is uh, used for university transfer. So a lot of our students will come here for two years to get their general education um, portion done for their four-year bachelor degree and then transfer off. What's really helpful is that because we're a um, public state college is that with any AA degree in, uh, in the state, uh, your AA degree will transfer to a uh, Florida Public University. Um, so with our AA students, we will help them um, transfer into any of our Florida State Universities, uh, but also if any student would like to get their general education done at a fraction of the cost, a lot of our students do even go um, out of state to transfer as well. Um, with that, our student success navigators or our academic advisors will be able to help you transition um, to wherever you go by looking at the catalog of that school of your choice. But on the other hand, we do have the associate in science degree, which is used a little bit differently. Um, these are actually paired within industry certifications. So students who do not see a four-year college degree in um, their future or just not at that point in time can actually um, achieve the AS degree, which is um, half of the general ed education, one English, one science, and one math. And um, But typically the rest of their associates program is um, more technical and hands-on. So we've built in industry certifications for for those programs that way they're ready to join the workforce okay some other degrees we do have we actually have um, five bachelor degrees um, students that are interested in our bachelor degrees will have to have an associate's degree beforehand um, so we have the five bachelor's that uh, degree you see on the screen, but also if students want to get ready for work, we do have those career um, certifications that students can um, just take by themselves as well. 
Now our admissions process is really simple. Um, we like to say it's five easy steps. Our application is found on our website, nwfsc.edu, and our application is totally free. So once a student feels like they want to apply to Northwest Forest State College, all you have to do is call, go to the college website and then apply on there. Um, of course, we require some transcripts, your official high school and any official college or AP and IB scores. Um, and then uh, that the student will have to complete their Florida or Alabama residency. Um, at Northwest Florida State College, we do not have a placement test, um, but we can use their ACT or SAT scores um, that are valid within two years of them completing it um, for placement. But if not, um, students can take the free PERT test as well. And then meeting um, with the fifth step is meeting with a student success navigator, which is our academic advisors to pick classes and then register and pay. Now, uh, more specifically with our programs, we do have some selective admissions programs, which are more technical. Um, so it includes uh, EMT, paramed paramedic, firefighter, um, any that you see on the screen. But any, um, what I wanted to note about these specific programs is that they have additional admission requirements than the um, other uh, AA or AS programs. Um, we, br we are bringing some new programs into the college. So um, we have two new AS degrees and uh, two, two other certifications that prepare our students for the workforce. And then um, let me just go right here. Um, now, <clears throat> we have very many ways to visit the campus. Um, our Niceville campus is our main campus and we are giving tours um, Tuesdays and Thursdays of each week at 9 a.m. or 2 p.m. So if you are interested in a tour, please feel free to contact us by either going to our website or um, emailing me below. Um, if you wanted to contact us to schedule a tour, had any questions about anything, um, feel free to email us at studentsuccess at nwfsc.edu or giving us a call at 850-502-2895 or going on our college website, nwfsc.edu and using our chat feature to speak with us. All right, thank you guys, have a good one. Thank you. Our next presenter is Nova Southeastern University. Hello everybody. My name is Julia Severance and I am the college missions rep for um, Nova Southeastern University. We are um, centrally located, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the next couple of slides. But before I move on, I do wanna talk about our, uh, we are a private research institution here at NSU. We are also a private selected research institution. We do mainly um, focus on the STEM and medical field. However, we do have a lot of opportunities for our students who are um, also have that creative side to them, uh, more of the liberal arts section. So just to give you some basics, um, we actually started out as a doctoral program, moved into the master's degree, and then officially opened up our doors at the undergraduate level. So although 6,000 about of our students are undergrad, we do have an overall population on our main campus, about 20,000 students. So you're going to have a really nice medium-sized school feel, but you're never going to have a classroom with more than 30 people in it. So you're not going to feel like a number here. You your professors will know your name um, and you will have those mentorship and relationships throughout your undergraduate and maybe a uh, graduate or professional level courses. Um, so our average class size is about 17. However, I've seen it anywhere from five to 30. Um, we are very diverse on our South Florida um, Davie campus. We do have all 50 states represented as well as over 115 different countries. One of the things that I love about NSU most is our academic and career coaches. So you're gonna have one person for helping you with your career and helping you pick your classes all four years so that you can build this trust and relationship and not have to keep re-explaining yourself, your aspirations throughout your time here at NSU. Um, I do just want to talk a little bit about our research projects. We do have over 150 different research projects in all different fields, medical, business, education, uh, even arts. So definitely a lot to offer here for research and those students who are interested in getting published. Uh, we are highly ranked not only on US News, but also the WSJ. 
Um, I do want to talk a little bit about what there is to do here on campus. So we do have 16 NCAA Division II teams, which is super exciting, men and women. Uh, you'll definitely see our NSU Edge Blue out on those days. We also have over 130 different clubs and organizations, including Greek Life, career-oriented, and hobby-based. Um, our participation rate at our school is so high uh, because our students not only are excited to be here and be on our campus, but it's so easy to get involved. Um, if you can't find a club or organization that interests you, all you need is six friends and an advisor to oversee your club, and you can have that opportunity here on campus and make your mark. Uh, we are also top 100 on best college campuses in America, according to Niche. So that's definitely something that we also pride ourselves on. I did want to talk a little bit about location since we are in Florida. Um, we are centrally located near beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach. So if you see here on the screen, that is Fort Lauderdale Beauty, uh, beautiful in the morning uh, when nobody is there yet. Um, we are also one hour away from the Florida Keys, and then we are three hours away from the second happiest place on the planet, NSU being the first, of course, and Disney being the second. So our average temperature is 77, but if you're a Floridian, you know that's a little bit cold for us. Um, and our students are very actively engaged in community, community service. Uh, we do have over 2,000 community service events every year. Um, a lot of them are beach cleanups because our students will give any excuse to go to the beach, but we also do a lot of other things as well that tie into our research here at NSU. Um, when we are looking for students that are applying to NSU, we are really looking for students who are academically driven, um, those that have A's and B's, they've taken honors, AP and IB courses. Um, throughout our application pool every year, we do have about 14,000 applicants. Of that 14,000 applicants, about 17,000 um, 17, do come 1700, I'm so sorry, um, 1700 actually come onto our campus. So majority of them are from Florida. A lot of our students do come from Florida, 35% out of state and 6% at international. We did decide to go test optional this year for um, this incoming class. So if you have not taken your test scores or you are finding difficulty taking them, please do not worry about that. It's not going to be taken into consideration, um, but you can still submit those scores if you want to. So that pretty much concludes my presentation. I can talk a lot more about our medical schools and our law programs here at NSU since that is kind of what we started with, but we are really looking to grow our undergraduate population and bring some of that South Florida fun to you guys. So definitely feel free to follow us on social media. Um, we also have a hashtag fins up for NSU. So if you do want to get featured or you do want to apply, definitely check it out. And then also just feel free to call our main number with any questions or concerns that you might have. And we are also doing campus visits, uh, both virtual and uh, in person. So if you did want to have an excuse come, to come down to Fort Lauderdale, please come see us. We are very excited to host you. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have Oglethorpe University. I'm sorry, Ray, you are on mute. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I think I'd get it by now. Uh, anyway, my name is Ray Farron. I'm an assistant director of admission here at Oglethorpe. Uh, this is just a picture of one of our uh, part, one of our lovely buildings here in Oglethorpe. We uh, get mistaken for uh, Hogwarts all the time, um, so you might see that throughout uh, the presentation itself. Um, but we are a small school in a big city, so we are located in the city of Atlanta. So um, we have around, but we are a small school in the sense that we have 1500 students, 51% of our students identify as people of color. And so uh, it is, you know, a part of our mission to be as diverse as the city that we represent. So we are, we do have 100 acres on our campus. So we are blocked off um, in terms of uh, a campus, but you know, public transportation is not too far away. If you want to uh, get to the city for a concert or a um, 
uh, you know, sporting event or anything like that. Small and engaging classes, our average class size is 17 students, uh, 15 to one uh, student to faculty uh, ratio. Uh, so you'll definitely have that one-on-one -on -one opportunity that you uh, may want or need uh, to be able to get internships, research opportunities, different things like that. Uh, we are applied liberal arts and science college. So we do have <clears throat> A couple different, uh, you know, uh, we have over 60 majors and minors uh, in terms of uh, our most popular majors, engineering, business, biology, um, education, uh, communication, theater, uh, different things like that. So those are just uh, some of the few. Uh, you will have a, an advisor for yourself throughout your four years. Uh, we also have um, opportunities for study abroad uh, with the experiential learning that you see here. So we have over 16 uh, student abroad sites and then in terms of internships in our city as well uh, of Atlanta. So uh, uh, in terms of campus life, we have eight on campus housing options, have over 100 student organizations. Uh, we also have 16 uh, athletic teams, men's and women's, uh, but we are division three. Um, so, you know, if you may not be have the opportunity to play D1 sports, unfortunately, you know, um, then you do, you would potentially have that opportunity to play division three sports and keep playing. Um, about around 25% of our students actually are student athletes. Uh, like I said, proximity to transportation, shopping and things like that, we have a lot near us. Um, in terms of life after Oglethorpe, 93% of Oglethorpe graduates obtain a full-time position or become enrolled in graduate school within a year of graduation, which uh, we're very proud of because it's higher than the national average. So uh, some of the places that students are working here in our Atlanta area, Coca-Cola, uh, the CDC, I know none of us have heard of the CDC in the past two years, uh, Emory Healthcare, um, we have a theater group that we work with, uh, Delta, and actually with Porsche, we have the most college graduates out of any college uh, that works at Porsche. So uh, definitely proud of that and all of our partnerships for students to have internships or jobs after they graduate. Um, here's a little bit just more of some students uh, at Oglethorpe. Uh, you know, through this process of looking for schools, you're trying to determine what's going to be the best fit for you. Um, so like my other colleagues have been saying, you got to visit these campuses. I know that was something I didn't do uh, when I was looking for uh, my college and definitely would encourage you to visit any college that you are actually looking to attend uh, because that is something that's uh, so valuable and you're trying to see what's going to be the best fit for you and you're you're doing that now by being here tonight. Um, a little bit about our scholarships. So um, over 99% of our students actually get scholarships. So we are a private school, but we're trying to be a private school at a public school price. We, we have uh, been named as a Fisk Best Buy school uh, for the past four years. Uh, students are able to use uh, Bright Futures here at Oglethorpe. That is that out-of-state HOPE equivalent that you see here. Um, like I said, private school to public school tuition. One of our scholarships is a flagship 50 scholarship. If you qualify for that, uh, you could actually come to Oglethorpe for the price of a University of Florida education. Um, so if you did want that smaller that smaller um, college experience, you're able to do that. Uh, additionally, uh, we also accept Florida prepaid. Uh, in terms of application, we are also test optional. This is our second year of being test optional. We're trying it uh, for three years and then we're going to reevaluate. Um, so if you are a junior, then that would uh, be the same for you as well. All we would need is application and transcripts uh, to be uh, submitted to review the application. Uh, you could complete an interview or letters of recommendation, but that's completely up to you. The letter of recommendation, though, I would, uh, uh, for a bad pun, recommend, but uh, because it just helps you out in the future for uh, being an adult and having to ask for, for recommendation letters. For our uh, deadlines, uh, November 1st, uh, we have our early action deadline, which is non-binding. It's not like early decision, where if you apply, you have to go. Um, it's not that, and but we are waiving application fees until November 1st. We are also on the Common App too, and then uh, we do have full tuition scholarships. So if you do apply by that, you would be considered for those uh, to, to compete in our scholarship weekend. After November 2nd, uh, you uh, wouldn't be eligible for that and you would have to pay the $50. However, if you do apply by November 1st, you would find out within two weeks. We aren't uh, changing. Um, we aren't, uh, you know, going to wait on applications. So you'll find out uh, within two weeks on those applications. If you have questions, you can always reach out to us at admission at oglethorpe.edu uh, and uh, or ask me for questions. That's what I'm here for.
Thank you. Thank you. So that concludes the presentation portion of our session today. But now we're gonna move over to the Q&A. I wanna encourage all of our presenters to come back, turn your camera back on, and I am going to pose a question to the group. Our presenters will respond in the order in which they presented. So the first question here, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Um, biggest thing is that um, our school has the ability to provide the small school experience due to the small undergraduate campus, but you also have the opportunities of having the graduate and doctoral students on campus. So that means research early on in your time at Mercer. Great. Um, at uh, New York Film Academy, I think the, the one thing that really separates us is uh, from a lot of other schools, we're very, very hands on and practical. So a lot of the, the like if you're learning filmmaking, for example, you're going to write, direct, produce and edit eight short films in the first year that you're there. I've seen acting students do anywhere between 20, 30, sometimes 40 short films in one year. So everything that we teach here is very, very hands on. So, um, you know, we give you the technique, but it's like, OK, go ahead and show us. And you're doing this in, uh, in three of the big hubs uh, for film and acting, which is LA, New York, and Miami as well. All right. Hi, guys. Tony here from Northwest Florida State College. Um, one thing I want people to take away about our college is that um, for the state college and for your first two years, a lot of students do not know what they want to do um, for the rest of their life. That's kind of a hard question, especially if you're 18 years old trying to pick a major. Um, but at Northwest Florida State College, at any kind of junior college, I'd say um, it lets you, uh, you know, experiment, experiment out um, different subjects, um, but also uh, to, to save a little bit of money on the side too as well. So um, being very cost effective and making that a really good business decision for you is why you should go to Northwest. One of the opportunities that we offer at Nova Southeastern University is, some, uh, is called our dual admission program. So like I mentioned earlier in the presentation, we do have um, some of our uh, programs like professional and uh, dentistry law. Some of those we do have uh, reserve seats for our incoming freshmen. So you don't have to go through the application process all over again when you're looking to pursue your career in these higher education uh, careers. Uh, Ray here at Oglethorpe. Uh, I would say the one thing uh, to uh, remember about Oglethorpe is that um, we are a small campus in a big city. So you have all the great opportunities of a big city, but all the luxuries of having that small campus uh, here in Atlanta. Great, great. Thank you all for sharing. Um, one final question. And again, we're going to go ahead and start um, with Mercer. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Try not to stress out. Um, I know it's easier than it sounds, but um, it's there's a lot to get done, but stay prioritized. And my biggest thing is if you're really considering the school, try to go visit the campus. Um, that'll be your best way to figure out if that's gonna be a comfortable fit for you in the long run. It's, I know it might be a bit of a drive depending on where you're looking, but check it out, see if it feels right. And if it doesn't, just cross it off your list. One less school to look at and it feels right. Start looking more into that process. Yeah, I agree with what Jordan said. Definitely visit the school. Um, and I'll speak to just like the visual and performing arts schools because that, that's what we offer. But I think uh, if you're applying to us or, or any type of visual and performing arts school, um, my biggest thing is just make sure you're practicing what you're studying. You know, a lot of kids tell me that they want to do filmmaking, but they've never actually done it. Even if it's like a short film on your phone that you've edited on your phone or, or acting, there's so many ways that you can practice this before you apply and before you submit a portfolio or before you submit an audition. So definitely try to practice as much as you can in that sense before applying. Um, one advice uh, that I like to share with most, most of the students I talk to you um, is to not make an emotional decision because I feel like, you know, at 18, 17, 18 years old, you have uh, the biggest decision to make on uh, where you go. Um, so uh, whenever you're considering, you know, what college you want to go to in state or out of state, public or private, um, really just ask yourself, what do you want? Not what mom wants, not with your best friends, your, your neighbor down the street, uh, but to really make that 
business decision and not that emotional decision to where, you know, you're five hours away from home if you don't like that. So I'm um, just really thinking about what you want and what you want to do in the future. I think one thing for sure that kind of ties to NSU is doing your research, um, just having as much information uh, as possible going into your you know, campus tours and your interactions with admissions counselors and you know, prospective students on campus that you run into. And you know, I love the point that Tony made that emotional decision and just like really not making an emotional decision, but a logical one with facts, with research and with you know, all of the knowledge that you can, so you're not getting into something you don't even understand. Well, all of my colleagues gave really great answers there. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I said this in my, in my presentation as well, but, you know, really figuring out what's going to be the best fit for you. You got to think about it from being on what you think would fit well for you. And you're the only person who knows that. So, um, you know, as Tony said, uh, you know, not listening to other people, listening to yourself. And, uh, you know, I like doing your research too. A lot of, you guys got a lot of great advice tonight from all of us. Ray, I agree completely. Great advice all around from the group. So that concludes our college fair for today, but I do have a few um, closing announcements. As you exit from this session, a survey will appear. Please complete the survey. It's very helpful as we aim to improve our college fairs. Also wanna remind you that you can sign up for additional sessions. And then finally, you will have access to this recording by visiting the link on your screen. With all of that said, I wanna thank you for joining us and I hope everyone has a great evening. Good night.